The shift from President Biden to Vice President Harris at the top of the Democratic ticket has reset the playing field for the parties as they fight for control of the House of Representatives this fall. Chad Pergram has more. The shift to Vice President Harris fueled a down-ballot Democratic surge after Democrats fretted about their chances. We have our eye firmly on 218. This energy, this kind of momentum, um, we are going to take it out of this hall and turn it into action. But the GOP doubts Democrats can maintain Harris-driven momentum. I think they're on a sugar high right now. I think they'll come off of that after the convention. The move to Harris was a game changer for Democrats. House Democrats raised $17.6 million in July. Their overall lead in fundraising prompted Republicans to intensify their money game. The GOP brass demanding rank-and-file Republicans chip in. We've seen the fundraising on the Democrat side just go through the roof. And so I've warned my candidates and my colleagues in the Congress that uh, we've got to step up to and continue doing the things we need to do to win. Democrats must only flip a handful of seats to reclaim the House after narrowly losing the majority two years ago. In 2022, we didn't get control of the House by five seats. Collectively, that was 6,700 votes among those five races. Every vote matters. Democrats like their chances after Republicans brawled with each other over who should be speaker. But President Biden suppressed enthusiasm. Until now, Democrats pledged to elect the first black speaker of the House, Hakeem Jeffries. It's not going to take us 15 votes like those other crazy guys. <laughs> right? We're going to do it on the first vote. Democrats promised not to stumble like last time, losing a handful of races in New York. But they must also protect vulnerable members in Washington and Alaska. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News.